and hello everyone we should be live and welcome back to the GT Sport League today and we have Isaac Smart in the commentary box alongside myself Ben Roberts and um, we've got we've got more action here from the GT Sport League here and uh, what do you think this is going to be like today Isaac? Yeah so we are at Interlagos uh, in Brazil which always uh, makes for some um, really interesting racing, especially on F1 as well. Um, but right now we're just in the practice session. We're just looking at Eifin with the fastest lap time ahead of Dutchie. Like, who would have thought that? Yeah, and Eifin choosing to go for the front-wheel drive Peugeot uh, in the Coca-Cola livery. And, um, yeah, interesting. Eifin's had a couple of good races. I think he finished about P2 last race. going to be interesting around this kind of track, though, with that front... Um, that front kind of wear that he's going to have on those tyres, so uh, going to be interesting. But yeah, we should um, be getting going very soon here. See two Saint come through as well. We've got Tiger Assassin in here, both of the BCMR brothers running that famous green and black livery. I believe. Um this race will determine P3 and P4 uh, in the team standings. Currently, Coca-Cola racing with iFin and Cryptic, 72 points, and uh, the Flyings at Campios uh, with a Tim Gren and Holland Campion, both on 72 points. So this race will um, determine P3. Oh, it's looking like Coca-Cola racing are really competitive. They might um, might stay P3. Well, especially with uh, Tim Gren potentially not um, not being in this race, he's not oh, actually yeah, yeah, yeah. in the lobby at the moment. We've got the replacement of Piero, who is um, he's coming in to replace uh, Tobster for this race. Um, so interesting to see him in that car and what he can do. Normally in the big responsibility, in the chat. head alongside um, Dachi. Currently P2 in the championship. Hello to um, Castengel. Had a, a bit of a, a bit of a coming together <laughs> in, yeah. in, the, in the race, but uh, no love lost there between uh, Castengel. Welcome. Got to play Dutchy. He's currently a little bit off the pace at the moment. Obviously, it's just practice, and uh, he's on some quite worn, soft tyres. This guy's going to get ready to go on the qualifying lap soon. Getting himself warmed up with the chat. People like Tim Gren not have any practice around this track at all. Coming straight in. And uh, Cryptek not being able to set a lap yet. The Coca Cola brothers are going to want to be um, <laughs> right up there today if they're going to want to be challenging the likes of um, the Campions. I think in there. I got four. I think it's Campions. I'm sure. I got used to it. Ah. Uh, Castengo, I think it was just a bit of a dodgy race from everyone to be honest. I got damage from, from the start where someone spun under under safety car. It was just a bit hectic that whole race. Um, Isaac was off and oh, it, there were so many retirements. I literally couldn't get that power down in the rain, man, at all. Saying um, podium predictions from someone in the chat, I, I, I've got to say that it's it's going to be Dutchy on the podium again. I mean, it, the, the kind of races that he's been having at the moment, I think he's won, he's won all three of them so far and although, to be honest um, although Tiger has extra motivation today doesn't he ben? he does he does Tiger Assassin definitely has some extra motivation as um, we've got a little bet on about if, if he wins the race um, the, we, we would um, give Tiger a bit of, a bit of cash for his, 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 um, his winnings but um, I doubt Tiger's going to win today because you know he's, he's not very good is he really no, I have faith in him. <laughs> Tiger Assassin, the man. Myth, the legend, will win this race, Ben. Calling it. Oh, this is it's Holland in the chat. Oh, I have no idea that it was you, but yeah, we've got Holland, Holland Campion in the chat. Interesting. I think um, someone um, cheering him on last race. I can't exactly who, remember who it was in the chat. Um, yeah, one of one of his, his fans from, from the Dutch area. We've also got Jetsy, who's from the... Du the flying Dutchman play Dutchy losing the car. 
I think he's just having a bit of fun out now. And he's now returned to the pits. Are you checking the chat on your phone, by the way? Yeah, I'm not sure when yeah, the nice race is going to get started. It should be soon. Are we even in quality yet? No, they're not in qualifying yet. And uh, Bonnie Ooh, that's will go Dutchy for a losing it, I think. Yeah, he's just having Dutchy a bit of fun. losing. Dutchy's, um, Dutchy's not on the race track for me, isn't it? Oh, is he not? Oh, was that Bonnie? And uh, Tiger, I think, is going for going for a lap here. He's um, up on his time, just at a, a green middle sector, coming through this sector. You want to try and get a tight exit, but then also run a little bit wide on the exit. You don't want to run too too much onto the curb. Hug the inside, going through this corner. Drift a bit of wide out on the exit again. Hug that curb, yeah, he took that quite nicely. Right up to yeah, the edge a, of the curb. Yeah, that was right a good, um, good exit there. Coming through the last corners. Can't take it quite as quickly as an F1 car, but um, it's like giving it his best shot. See what kind of lap time he's going to be able to put in. Obviously, it's not going to be representative. Tiger going out on the mediums for the moment. Three tenths off on his time. Manages to set 139.3. Fastest lap for him so far. Still a way off the likes of Dutchy and Bonneville. So we've got Piero, who's quite far up there, replacement driver. Looking like he could be doing a good job um, in replacement of Topster. Uh, Topster having a good season last season, but being a bit quiet in, in the start of this season. Um, but Piero, Piero hoping the to... Frenchman. Yeah, Gasly. Yeah. <laughs> Piero. Looking like he's going to take... Um, he's going to raise ah, Hamilton to the Tim Grant has joined the room finally. It's going to be interesting to see what he's going to be able to do with absolutely no practice at all. So I believe and, uh, Quali will be um, underway quite shortly now that uh, Tim Grant is in the session. Yeah, it definitely should be. Also, should get F. Going Geordi, F. Geordi in the chat, 99% he's almost done. Not sh quite sure what he was. He was that, meaning uh, about a Tim Grant's update, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Tim Grin's, yeah, Tim Grin's update um, should be it done now. Tim Grin has joined the session, so we should be getting going. Daniel Gardenzi, obviously, um, topping the timings at the moment. Very strong lap from him. I know it's just practice, but um, some yeah. people were giving it a bit of a go through there. They've stayed relatively under the radar so far, but um, good lap by Daniel Gardenzi there, who will be hoping to... Quite a familiar to... track, isn't it? So some of these drivers will be... Um confident about it is it. yeah we, we haven't got any um home favorites here as no one is from um brazil unfortunately We've got monza coming up though in this calendar so daniel gardenzi's home grand prix it want to be having a strong race around there we've got, got zanvor on the calendar however we um did have that in the super league and premier and freshman league as we've just had all of those races going around Zanvor. If you're struggling for pace around Zanvor, then you'll definitely want to check out um, Tiger Assassin's track guide around that track. And Toussaint getting ready to go into qualifying. And that was Bon Evil going for a spin. Just trying to get used to the track. Here we go as we start qualifying. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of tyres these drivers go out on. As um, Tiger predicting a soft, medium, soft strategy. It was a race to forget, trust me. Which race was that? The Premier one? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every, every race so far in the Premier for me is and a race to forget. It was a bit of a race to forget, but you know, you, you have to have and races you like that. that to, yeah, yeah, you, got you have to have. You three times, you had a, quite a good result there. Well, we'll have to see how, far, how no, it goes. As far in as France. a recovery race goes, that was definitely a good result. Yeah, it was. Definitely a good recovery, but um, yeah, we're going to have to see for France next weekend for the Premier Series as everyone coming out of the pit lane now. Holland Campion followed very closely by Dan Schneider. Let's see where we've got Dutchie coming out. Going to try and follow Dutchie for a quick lap, see if he's going to 
put his car up into pole position. He hasn't really got anyone uh, with a slipstream head. Actually, he's got he's got Jetsy just ahead for that slipstream. I think that was someone going wide there. Was it Cryptek? I think going off and um, Ifin potentially as well there. See um, if Piero is going to be able to be right on the pace there as well. Do what kind of lap times he's able to put in. Oh yeah, I yeah, didn't, didn't know why you retired from that race. Was, was it? I can't remember if um, if you crashed out or whether whether it was um, a, a manual retire in that one. I didn't see a crash happen. There's two yeah, things still in the pits. Um, yeah, Dan Schneider is going as well. back into the pits, probably going for um, super softs, I imagine. Potentially, it's a weird time they've, they've not managed to set a lap yet, but maybe um, wanting to get rid of that traffic and um, maybe put some different tyres oh, on. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. See if we can watch Play Dutchy go for a lap here. He's got um, Piero right behind him, so he's going to be giving him the slipstream as he goes through the first sector. Going to want to break just about the 100 meter board coming into this corner as you go down the gears. Round that left hander. Oh, and Piero has gone off on his lap and he's hit the wall there. Very unfortunate for him as he was getting Dutchie's slipstream. And that's so unfortunate for his lap. And he's going to probably be backing off now. Yeah, he's got damage on the front left and very unfortunate there. But um, as we watch Dutchie still going for a lap, he's going to have the slipstream on Cryptek. Getting a nice tight line through that corner, making sure he's making use of all of the curb runs a little bit wide on the exit oh and i think piero went very wide through that corner unfortunately for him to take a wide line through um through that corner as well and, uh, yeah dutch getting the car straightened up nicely right that, that corner a little bit. Yeah, yeah. not quite flat through that corner it would be in an f1 car but he goes down oh, into second not? gear through the last corner runs quite wide on wide, exit yeah. but but um, manages to keep it all in check and as he comes now through the last sector going to be getting a great slipstream off Cryptek but Cryptek's also going to be getting one on the Timgren as we start to see lap times coming in Holland Campion currently at the front and Dutchie there he does does go in provisional pole position Piero currently down in P5 but obviously had the mistake on that lap and as we see a few more of the drivers coming through is Ifin going to be able to set a lap here does but he's way off the pace with that lap and uh, yeah, going to be wanting to go, to go again. again he is yeah. currently on the medium tires so he should be able to Daniel Gardensky though looking competitive compared to his, uh, other races don't you agree oh, no, I think going P4. wide there yeah definitely Daniel Gardensky much higher up than he Picked has been pace, yes probably been practicing a little Only bit. Only a tenth of a Tim Graham, which is interesting. Tim Graham's had absolutely no practice. He's actually got a penalty now on this lap. He's going to have to back off of this one. But um, so about a tenth ahead. Well. Currently on the soft compound of tyre. And uh, Piero's going to be wanting to come into the pits. I'm not sure why he's quite staying out now. He had that damage. I think he should have come into the, the pits. But um, it's not done that just yet. I think Ifin is on a lap, potentially. He manually retired after the damage you gave me. Yeah, I'm sorry about that one. I think it was just when we were going through sector two, I just I made I tried to go for a move on F1 lover, and and when I did that, I just completely missed the breaking point. He went into the back of me. I think that was that was what happened in that one. It's not not a good race for contact. I'll tell you that I was. Not confident under the brakes on in the in the wet conditions at all. I don't think we're going to see a wet race today. So is Ifin going to come into the pits for a fresh set of tyres? He is. Comes into the pit lane. Get off those medium tyres. Holland Campion also choosing to come into the pit lane. I'm surprised that Piero is not pitted. Still staying out with that damage see if he can improve on what is P6 for the moment. No, he's three temps down in the first sector. As Natty going into P2 and Toussaint also into P3. Toussaint and Tiger currently working together to get that slipstream. And this is great for their um, 
Constructors Championship at the moment. Currently P3 and 4. And uh, good good um, pace from them two so far. Working together using the slipstream. Uh, two cent going a little bit wider than Tiger's line through there. Jetsy also in that train. I think that was um, Holland's Campion going wide there. And they're also a Timgren in that train. Yeah, Tim, um, Holland Campion actually picking up a penalty from there, I think. It's Dan Schneider's actually just set a purple first sector. See him going on a lap now. He's on the super soft tyre, so interesting to see what pace he's going to have in oh, there his is a Lexus. bunch of traffic at the moment. We have Natty right on the back of Jetsy, who is um, forcing him through that corner. A little bit of contact, um, major there. Natty on the super soft tyres, Jetsy on the softs. We two saying ahead. He was actually picked up a penalty on this lap, so unfortunate for him in Tiger's slipstream that he's picked up that penalty and I think Tiger is going to come into the pits they're both going to opt for the tyre change currently on the super soft tyres I think it was Dan Schneider who was on a lap let's see if he's been able to improve on his lap time so far currently not set a lap actually um, so far so it's going to be interesting to see if he can set a lap here coming through the last few corners What kind of lap time is he going to be able to set? With eight minutes to go in the session, he goes P5. Good lap from Dan yeah, Schneider, actually like there. Dan Schneider, yeah. On the super soft tires, and um, puts him right into contention, actually there with his teammate Jetsy. As a Dutchy, I think stopped on the track there. As he, I think, yeah, he was. Completely stopped on the track. I'm not sure if he was letting people go there. This will be um quite a big day for VCMR um, because uh, Piero will be getting replacement points, so he won't be going towards the Intero Data Racing Team. Yeah, it could which be. Means that, um, PCMR will just extend their advantage uh, over the rest of the field if they have a good race. Right now they're in P3 and P4, so it's looking like they will um, be having a good starting position in this race. Well, yeah, it's it's very it's quite close at the moment. It's about 20 points in it, but obviously Dutchy kind of carrying that team. And unfortunately, Tobbs has not been able to get as many points so far this season. There's a bit of a, a traffic jam through there with with Natty and Bon Evil. Um, just getting a bit caught up through there, and now they've all kind of backed off their laps here, and it's going very Tim slowly third, through there. Fourth fastest did go third, um, knocked down to fourth because Ifin has gone second fastest. Good lap by him. Yeah, very good lap from Ifin back on the pace. Two. And uh, yeah, he's really not laid up in this um, so far, and they're very close with the the flying champions for P3 currently. They're currently actually tied with the flying champion so they're very very close um for that p3 it's a little bit further up to in terror terror racing i think it's called um and that's that's play dutchy and topster in that team and it's currently obviously piero for today who is replacing um topster but piero is currently down in p12 losing it oh people have to uh backed off their lap because of that just after um, just after the Senna S. Pushing too hard. And had to back right off there. It was too saying he's right behind um a Tim Gren though in the in the standings at the moment. And is a Tim Gren going to be able to improve on his lap? I think he is on a fast lap now. Had no practice as a Tim Gren coming into this race. And uh, I think he... Oh, he's not on a lap. He's actually peeled into the pits. Looked like he was on a lap. Uh, I think Natty is on a personal best lap here. Currently in P3. Staying right up behind Tiger. As Piero sets a new fastest lap. Goes into P6 for now. So he has been able to improve. In the 
Frenchman Piero. Hello, Rick Holt in the chat. And we've also got Tiger coming through the last sector. Are these guys yeah, going to be able to improve Bonnie. on their lap? Yeah, we've got, got a great slipstream on Bonnie Vaughan. Is he actually going to pull you out? Really yeah, want to that left hand side and goes four there. with that time. So it's a faster lap, lap, but then goes time. off the track into the first corner. I believe the first corner is called the center S, right? Yeah, through, yeah. Through that section. See if Piero's going to be going on a lap. We have Bonnie on a fast lap looking to improve. Bit of traffic up ahead. Um, kind of needs to be like uh, conscious of that gap. Doesn't want to run. Oh, and that's Jet C. Sorry, did he lose it and locking up massively. Cryptex giving Bonnie way. Sliding through that corner was Jet C. And it's going to have ruined his tyres through there. Unfortunately, I think he's going to have to come into the pits at the end of this lap. And uh, that's very unfortunate for him there and their team and just adds to their, their season really that they've had so far. Unfortunately, right down in P7 of the driver's standings. Oh, the, the, and that's the, cryptic going for a move that was never going to happen. Oh, that and was that's just, uh, compromised jet. Move Hamilton and Albon there. Cryptic just sent it and um, I believe that was a... Uh, who did he make the move on again? I think it was... was Jetsy, Jet yeah, Jetsy yeah, it was. Jetsy just didn't see him and... Oh, and Crypto going off! Yeah. That's unfortunate Ooh, for Cryptek. We still not got Oriole in today, uh, unfortunately, for their team. So, it's going to be interesting to see if RS Racing, who is Dan Schneider and Jetsy, if, they, if they're going to be able to pick up the points. Dan Schneider currently in P8 which would be a good points haul ahead of Bon Evil and uh, Jetsy in P10, they would be picking up more points than um, it's Daniel Gardenzi and obviously Oriol not turning up. It's going to really hurt their chances of getting some good points today. Now all falls on Daniel Gardenzi to bring home points for DTVP. Right now they only have 18 points in the championship, four points ahead of RS Racing. So um, it is quite a quite a lot of pressure to be under to um, keep that gap from Dan Schneider and Jetsy. Yeah. Dan Schneider needs to, not Dan Schneider, sorry, Dan Gardenzi needs to be um, putting in a really good performance today. It's fallen a bit down the field, but um, probably looking to make some positions up during the race. And we've got uh, likes of Bon Evil, Tiger and Natty all coming out to start their laps now, they're just coming out on their out laps and this will be their final flying lap of the session. Natty currently in P2, Tiger down in 4th place, we've got Toussaint in P6, Bon Evil quite far down the pack at the moment in P9. Rick Holt mate, um, Piero is replacing Topster for this race. Yeah, um, Thompson not being able to make it to this session. We've also got Oriol missing as uh, Holland's Ooh, champion sets a new fastest this time. And uh, he goes, stays P13 actually, unfortunately, with that lap. A Dutchie goes even quicker and sets a new fastest lap. Five tenths quicker than anyone. Jetsy also puts in a new lap. Where does that lap put him? Only in P10 for now, unfortunately, for Jetsy. Stays where he was before. And um, see if any of these guys are going to be able to improve. I think we've got Ifin starting a lap now. We have, let's take you on a lap with Ifin. And he's got Dutchie right behind him on this lap. He's not going to have any slipstream. Currently down in P4. Hugging the inside there. Late on the brakes through here in his four-wheel drive car. Taking a nice line through there, but he can't be as tight, just hasn't got the turn in that some of the other cars do. Taking the car nicely through there, keeping it tight on the inside, getting a good exit. Bringing the car over to the left here and then bringing it back over to the right for short straight through here, flat through this corner. 
unfortunately is two temps down on his time at the moment just not having any slipstream and actually goes a little bit wide on the last corner and that's going to give uh, Dutchy a nice slipstream through there not sure if he's going to be able to improve on his time I didn't see if he was up he's going to have a great slipstream oh it's him Gren's second fastest good lap a great lap by Tim Gren with no practice five temps off and uh, I'm not sure if Dutchy did just improve doesn't about five tenths down on his time. Got the likes of Natty and Tiger also on the lap now. Gonna be interesting to see if Tiger can improve. Currently down in P5, but he's all over the back of Bon Evil. I think unfortunately Bon Evil's not had a great other lap. And let's see if these guys can improve on the lap. We've also got Natty coming round. He's been dropped down to P3, two Saint in P6. And here they come. Across the line, Bon Evil stays P9, but um, Toussaint goes up to P3. Tiger actually now goes down to P6 as Cryptek takes P5. Great lap from him. And the Coca Cola boys are going to be really pleased with that. But Eifin's a little bit further down than actually he's been out qualified for the first time this season by his teammate. I mean, this race is about to get underway. Ben, do you want to run him through the. Drive a grid. We've got Dutchy on pole position. Third time in a row for him. Natty in second. Toussaint in third. Tim Grant in fourth. Cryptek in fifth. Tiger in seven uh, in sixth. Ifin in seventh. Piero in eighth. We've got Dan Schneider in ninth. Bon Evil in tenth. Jetsy in eleventh. Daniel Gardenzi in twelfth. And Holland Campion in thirteen. Out. We are underway for the Brazilian. Uh it's a bad start for Piero, and he, he's oh, lost Natty's, it. Uh, on the back of Dutchy, and Natty has gone through into P1. Good start by Natty. Dutchy has to settle for second place. Um, a Tim Grenn in third, two sink fourth, right on the back of um, a Tim Grenn there. Um, good uh, good start so far for the BCML brothers. A Bonnie Evil from P9 to P6. As Dutchy's looking for the move round the outside, gonna go late on the brakes, gonna try and make the move on Natty, needs to make the move work. involved as well with Timbrin looking for the move on Natty. Is Natty gonna leave him the room? He does. Timbrin going a long way round through that corner, puts himself up into P2. Good move by Timbrin there. And Bon Evil's weekend race is just getting worse and worse as now she's picked up a five temp penalty. Schneider, I think it is. Cryptic and Eifin are three wide going into that breaking zone. And Eifin having a better line puts him up into P7. Dan Schneider in eighth. Cryptic in nine having a battle with um the battle with uh, Dan Schneider again. Jetsy right on the back of him. Daniel Gardenzi up into 11th from 12th. Piero in. Oh, and Holland Campion looking down the move on Daniel Gardenzi and he's going to try and go down the inside but now he's going to have to try and send it round the outside but now Piero was looking for the move and I think made a little bit of contact with his side pod but actually well, Piero's got damage. Really wide. And Dan Schneider now is all over the back of Eifen. They're going too wide there and um, Dan Schneider I think is going to make that move on Eifen on the long uh, on this straight here. Just uh, in the slipstream at the moment, see if you can pull out to the side in the braking zone. I'm just checking if there's any more action going on. Um, there isn't, I don't believe. And Dan Schneider is just going to stay where he is now. Interested in Eifin starting on a different kind of strategy this time. He's actually started on the medium tyres, so is Dan Schneider. A few people starting on those tyres, but Tiger's actually started on the softs. And so has Toussaint. A lot of the front runners choosing to go for that tie. But interestingly, Ifin uh, wanting to maybe go longer on his tires and then maybe pit for the super softs and kind of get that overcut, which might work. But now he's got Dan, Dan Schneider, Schneider looking for the move. Ifin making a bit of contact. Dan Schneider is being very patient on the straight. Thought better of making the move, but now it's going the long way round into this corner. That's very bad traction, I think. And that's... um. It's allowed Cryptek now to send one down the inside and Cryptek up into 8th. Dan Schneider in ninth. Dan Schneider needs to find his uh, rhythm and composure and uh, needs to stay directly behind Cryptek. He's doing so. Nearly made contact with him. Um, right now in this race, he has to settle for P9. Very yeah. closely between um, the front runners, I must say. It's very close between the front runners, very close between, we've got kind of a few packs of cars as well, we've got from 7th to 9th, it's very close, and I think that's Dan Schneider looking all over the back 
of Cryptek and he's going to be looking for the move going in towards turn one. Already pulls out for the move with that slipstream being so strong around this track and on onto this straight. And he's going to be looking for the move into turn one. And he does. Pulls out last minute very late on the brakes. I'm not getting a great camera angle, but he's going to try and keep his nose in. Cryptek defends well. And um, going to just have to stay behind until the next straight. But I think oh, now actually Tim Grin, I coming under pressure. Made the move on Dutchy for P1. He is. And the Tim Grin goes first. Made the move on Dutchy. I haven't seen anyone make a move on Dutchy yet. Really good move by Tim Grin. Right and now, now Natty is all over the back of Toussaint as well. And is he going to be looking for the move? Tiger also getting involved in this battle as Natty goes a little bit wide through that corner. Going to allow Tiger to have the tighter line. And uh, Tiger going to be looking for the move and already gets it done before they go into the next corner. That is a great move by Tiger. An opportunistic to see that uh, Natty going wide. And now he's going to be all over the oh, back Crypto of his teammate. Dan Schneider battling man. Cryptic, I think, just keeping that position. But Dan Schneider is directly behind him, um, approaching this straight. With a bit of uh, that strong slipstream, will be able to um, be able to make a move on Cryptic and get that position back. Yeah, Cryptic looking all over the back of his Coca-Cola racing teammate, though. And uh, potentially going to be looking for the move. Uh, but now he's, he's dropped back a little bit. And that's going to allow Dan Schneider to be looking all over the back of him again. And uh, Dan Schneider already looking for the move. And sends it down the inside. And going to keep it down the inside all the way down the straight, I think. And Kryptek running that Max Verstappen helmet I've just seen. Nice helmet by him. Going down into turn one, though. It's going to be Dan Schneider taking the inside line later on the brakes. And he's going to make it up into P8 for now. Have we got any other fighting going on at the front? Uh, Tim Gren still leading. A very impressive stuff by him, but he's had he's run a little bit deep into that corner, and that's allowed Dutchy to go right onto the back of him. Dutchy going to be all over the really rear looking for the move. With Dutchy behind you at all, man. And he's flashing at Tim Gren. Maybe asking him to come through, and is he going to look for the move down the inside? No, thinks better of it than to go for the move there. Tiger also all over the back of Tusain. And oh, uh, oh as Dutchy's gone wide, and Dutchie, the yeah, Tusain puts himself up into second, but Dutchy is on the inside line for this corner, and I think uh, we'll just have to exceed that position as Tusain stays second. Good move by Tusain. And uh, Rick Holt saying that the Lexus looks really slow, and I, I think it's just that the Group Four version of the Lexus is just is just not great, and and he just seems to be struggling a lot with with the um, the turning. It just looks like a really heavy car. I know what you mean. Um, also, we've got Cash Stengel saying that yeah, GT yeah, Sport is so, is so much, much cleaner. cleaner. It, it, it is definitely so is. Much I've watched a lot of a lot of F1 uh, racing. And then I've, I've recently come on Ooh, to... Oh, Tiger Assassin making a move on Dodgy. I think Dodgy is having issues in this race. It's falling back from the grid from P1 to P3. And we're and finally starting to see Dodgy and his reign of, of, of being the king of GT Sport, really, coming to an end, really, here, because he's, he's now dropping back from, from the leaders and, and starting to come under pressure from the likes of Tiger and Natty, who are looking very great. Look very quick in this part of the race. Oh, that's the Cryptek making a move on Dan Schneider. Made a bit of contact, but um, it's quite clear. Oh, and Dan, Dan Schneider be losing the car. Very Through wide that corner there. Yeah, very wide. It's, the car was really um got upset by those curbs. You really want to be staying off them. Yeah, and I've just this noticed that also Tyson I've been is taking the lead of this race from a Tim Grimm. Two Saint having a massive race right oh, now. But two Saint going to try and send in. it. Looking for the better traction forces the Tim Gren wide and Tucson puts himself up into first. That was a really good move by Tucson. Tucson is on fire in this race. Yeah, definitely having a great race here. And now look at his teammate Tiger Assassin looking all over the back of Dutchie. And um, is this going to be the first time we've really seen these guys be able to challenge Dutchie in, in, in the race? And then we're finally seeing 
some some good racing at, at the top of the field, aren't we? And we're seeing a Tim Gren yeah, looking yeah. for the move back on Toussaint. He's going to try and send it down the inside, and he's not wanting to stay behind the BCMR car. And he's already made the move into turn one. Going to try and be late on the brakes, but Toussaint is going to try and look down the inside, trying to switch back, but he's actually made a little bit of contact with, I think, the side of, of Dutchie there. And that's kind of upset his line through there. And now Dutchie's going to be coming under pressure from Tiger. Tiger all over the back of Dutchie. Going to maybe look to the inside under the brakes. Is he going to? No. Decides not to, but Dutchie almost has a look for a move on Toussaint later on the brakes. And now he's going to try and keep his nose in through the next corner, but decides to just back off and stay behind for now. But it's so close between this lot. You could literally throw a blanket Ooh, over the four really of them. Wide and Piero now puts himself up into 11th and Jetsy in last. Having a really bad race at the moment. Yeah, unfortunately, really Jetsy um, dropping backwards, isn't he, in this strategy race? strategy really here. Yeah, good Strategy move for Piero, though. Strategy more than overtaking. What tyres is Dutchie on? All of the front four are all on the soft compound tyre. In fact, so is the top um, seven, the no, six, sorry, all the way down to Cryptek. And Dan Cryptek Schneider is on the super soft. Making a move on Eiffel that wasn't too clean. And that has allowed. Uh, Daniel Gardenzi to gain some time on these guys as well, and they may go three wide into this corner. Now nah, Daniel Gardenzi just backs out of that. Uh, but Eifin and Dan Schneider are still wheel to wheel. Eifin forces Dan Schneider a little bit onto the curb, not too far. And um, I think Dan... Oh, is it I oh, this is so close, I think. Eifin will make this move. It's wheel to wheel. I can't tell. It's too close to be able to tell who's going to come out on top. I think Ifin's going to potentially get it under yeah, the brakes. He's going to have the inside the line. Late on the brakes. Better line through that corner. And it's, it's um, and uh, actually Dan Schneider gets the move yeah, back, yeah. gets oh, the yeah. switch back, and he goes a little bit wide onto the the curb, but he's going to keep it in. And now he's got and Ifin actually runs wide, and that's going to allow Daniel oh, Gardenzi. But P9 now Piero's Piero getting involved and looking involved. all over the rear of them, but he's going to decide not to make the move. going to stick wait, behind them. The the We've got Tiger looking for the move on Dutchie. They were just wall to wall, but Tiger had to back out of it. Um, Dutchie is all over the back of the Timgren. Ah, uh, but Dutchie's had a compromised line through there, and he's going to have Tiger all over the back of him now. But actually, Tim Gren's not had a great line through there as well, and he's going to be coming under pressure as their tyres are maybe starting to go off as the fronts on those soft I compounder tyres are going off. The arrow here, they're wheel to wheel, flat out. Is that Daniel Gardenzi and Dan Schneider wheel to wheel? Oh, Piero well. sends it. From Daniel Gardenzi, Daniel Gardenzi leaving him the room. Um, these guys need to be careful that they're losing so much time to these front runners. All this battling as well is not going to be doing their car or their tyres any good either. I said Daniel Gardenzi also has some front end plate damage. So that's unfortunate for him. And, and um, Piero's got some rear damage as well. So unfortunate for these guys that they just got that damage. But this is really Tiger affecting Ivan's race. Going wheel to wheel. Tiger got past Dutchie. When did that happen? Oh, what? They've got off and Tiger has been sent off the track by Dutchie. There's been huge contact. And that's so unfortunate for Tiger dropped down to P5 in the race. And there was huge contact there. I don't know what quite happened. But I just saw Tiger kind of and his tyre marks were going off the track. And Dutchie right lets him through there and they're uh, flashing his lights to apologize but yeah that I think Dutchie was just too late on the brakes and just went into the side of Tiger and now Tiger's tires have really facing the consequences of that is he gonna have Dutchie all over the back of him again Ooh, as um, two cent making a move on the Tim Gren two cent just hits into a Tim Gren ever so slightly but maintains that position we also have Ifin into the pits on lap a very very early pit stop ops for the super source Interesting yeah, and interesting that he goes for that it's because he's as well. he potentially started on the medium tire, so it was interested to see. Um, 
It's interesting to see that he's, he's gone onto the super soft so early on in the race as well. He's been using this strategy recently, but with the with the new GT Sport update, I'm not I'm not quite sure that the, these tyres are gonna be the right strategy for Ivan. I think he should have stayed out longer. He was losing a lot of time in that traffic, and potentially now is going to get the undercut. But um, very very early pit stop for Ivan. Going to have some blistering pace on those super softs though. Looking towards. The front of the grids, two Saints still leading, a Tim Graham close behind now, pulled a bit of a gap to Natty though, and then two uh, play Dutchy behind, also lost about two seconds through that though. So uh, not looking great for Dutchy at the moment unfortunately, as he has got past Tiger, um, who has now got those uh, worn tyres from that um, spin that he had, or that uh, crash. And he's going to be all over the back of Dutchy, though Dutchy not going to have any slipstream from anyone ahead. So he's going to be left a little bit exposed here to Tiger. Ooh, that's a Tim Grin going up into first, made the move on Toussaint. But Toussaint switched back and got a way better line, better traction out that corner and has kept P1. What a move. Great defending. Really yeah. smart defending by Toussaint. Great defending by Toussaint. So well. Putting his car where it needs to be, keeping a Tim Gren behind for now. Not losing Probably too much time for Natty. Yeah, really good race from him so far. He's been uh, very consistent, very patient um, on making his moves and made them at the right right places. And now he's defending at the right places as well from a Tim Gren. So, um, yeah, keeping his car up in P1 at the moment. Um, got Natty behind who's now actually coming under pressure from Dutchie who has managed to get his pace back together and um, set after the British man. As uh, Natty goes a little bit wide there, not the optimal line through there. And that's going to really help Dutchie. So he's already alongside uh, the British man. I don't know, what, what would you call the Brit British man? Like English man, that's what you call it. Flipping out, I'm from the place, you probably know. But yeah. Here comes Natty into the pit lane. Also, we've got Tiger in the pits. A Tim Gren and Bon Evil all opting to come in to the pit stop at this point. Wonder what tyres they're going to be going on. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see where Ifin comes out and all this. The first one to come into the pits. He's quite a way off. Not looking like it's really made a big difference um, coming into the pits so early. And uh, Tim Graham probably going to be the first one to exit the pits. Not really any Ifen battles going on at the moment. To, um, Ifen about to pass all the guys in the pits because of the new GT Sport update. The 17 second before the tyres even go on. Yeah, and so actually Ifen has, has gained a hell of a lot of positions and is now, now up into P7. And um, that's really helped his race out. I'm not sure if it's actually going to be P7 by the time he comes out and the, the timing actually go back to normal. No, it's P8. Comes out just behind a Tim Gren. But a Tim Gren was right in the, for the lead of the race. And actually, Ifin takes uh, the provisional lead now, I think, just ahead of um, a Tim Gren. But we've also got Dutchy and Toussaint who need to come into the pits is that Natty currently has the fastest lap of the race. I think that was Holland Campion getting close to Dan Schneider. No, it's fallen behind a little bit. And are we going to see Dutchy come into the pits this lap? We are. Dutchy pits. And uh, so does Two Saints. So the two leaders into the pit lane. It'll be interesting to see what tyres they go on to. We're going to see... Um, just what kind of tyres the leaders went on. We've got a Tim Gren who's actually gone out on the medium, so maybe wanting to go longer in the race. Natty coming out on the soft tyre and uh, Tiger coming out on the mediums, as well as Bon Evil also on the medium tyre. We have Bon Evil all over the back of Tiger now for P9. Bon Evil was, um, quite a clean race so far she hasn't been involved in too much drama so she's just staying out of it probably um just thinking about uh the long game here and she's gonna be don't she looking for the move on tiger long. assassin as um two teams Jetsy finally coming out wide and almost lost the car jets almost lost it just barely kept it in 
on there. Definitely saw that rear step. Jetsy now. also having that penalty. He's not having a great race here. Going longer on those medium tyres. Maybe just the grip's completely gone on them now. The front's looking very, very worn on those ones. So he's going to want to be coming into the pit lane fairly soon. Also Dan Schneider going long. So those two in the RS racing team. Going for that alternate strategy and going long on those medium tyres could pay off um, the oh, overcut. Bonnie's made them. Oh, she looked for the move on Tiger. I thought she had her nose in there, but I don't think she did. She just lost it under traction, uh, having a um, even the worst line into that corner. But um, staying right behind Tiger. Tiger's looking in his mirrors and seeing her all over the back of his gearbox. Uh, can't be making mistakes. He can't be. Getting the rear out there, you got the rear just a little bit, um, just a little bit out there. Um, really needs to be careful of Bonnie behind. As a, like, Dan, Dan Schneider and Jetsy come into the pits. Only if you run uh, ABS off, but most people don't because you lose a lot of time by running ABS um, off on this game because you can really uh, get it like wrong. It's not really like F1 where you kind of just uh, lock up and you can continue on it can really ruin the tires as a Tim going going a little bit wide and deep into that corner and that's gonna um, compromise his line going through the first sector Natty you're gonna stay very very close up behind him currently with the fastest lap uh, and Natty on the soft compound tires as well as a Tim Grand's on the medium so maybe just Natty having that tire advantage helping him close right up behind a Tim Grand now can be interesting to see if he can get past and uh, Ifin currently leading the way then, but his, his front tyres are going to be going off very quickly in that front wheel drive Peugeot. Also got uh, Toussaint closing up towards the back of this battle between Tim Gren and Natty as well. Uh, bon Evil and uh, Tiger Ooh, Natty going and close. Tim Gren. Ooh, uh, Natty is all over the back of him. Well, Natty going to look for the move yeah, maybe down the inside. In. Oh, a little bit of contact there. Tim Gren uh, gives him the benefit of the doubt and leaves him just enough room there. And Natty switched, uh, switched back and they're too wide going into this braking zone. I think Natty will just have a cuts the curb and gets a bad exit out of there. Tim Gren runs wide, losing time to Toussaint behind as well. And uh, Tim Gren uh, keeping that position into that corner. And just about keeping the position there for Natty, but he's all sorts oh, of under Toussaint pressure from Toussaint. Yeah. And Toussaint having a great race here, going to try and put his car up into P3 and does before the braking zone into turn one. Toussaint's ahead, but has a little bit of a bad line through the first corner, and that's going to put Natty right on the back of him once again. And uh, yeah, Natty going to have a great exit onto this straight going to be looking for the move potentially going to look to the inside late on the brakes can Natty make the move work no nah, thinks better of it and just backs off of that one for now thinking that two saints going to win I'm going to put my money on a Tim Gren I think a Tim Gren's going to grab it at the end I think he's going to have some insane tire wear because look at him he's on the mediums and, and he's having a great race here. He's, he's, he's not had any practice. He was the underdog coming into this one. But I, I think that um, that he's going to win this one. Uh, Castengel thinking that Dutchie's going to win. I would have put my money on Dutchie before this race. But now actually seeing them on track. I don't think Dutchie's quite got the pace to be winning this race. Toussaint has been absolutely on fire this race. I'm going to have to agree with Rick Holt here. Oh, but a Tim Gren now looking for the move on Eiffin. And this could be interesting for the race lead. And a Tim Gren going to want to get past as quickly as possible. Because now we've got Toussaint who's closing right up to behind a Tim Gren. But um, a Tim Gren gaining a lot on Eiffin. Looking for the move as Eiffin's tyres are just dropping off those super softs. He's not going to have long before he's going to have to come into the pits on the low fuel but now a Tim Gren going to look for the move down the inside maybe no 
He's going to think better of it. Going to look towards the next straight. Knows that the slipstream is going to be strong. Tries to take a deeper line. But Ooh. now that's going to allow Tusain to look for the move. But almost makes a bit of contact with the, yeah, the rear of him. The but now Tim Grenz had a great line through the first corner. And now he's all over the back of Eiffel. Now he's going to look for the move. Wait, waited, bided his time. And now he's going to try and make the move round the outside. Weird place to make a move. But Tusain is now oh, getting yeah, right up behind them. And two Saints well. gonna make look for the move as I've been kind of squeezed well. the Timgren out and two Saints gonna take second place great race racecraft there to take second place and now that's allowed Natty to catch up but all this time that they're fighting that we've also got the pack of Dutchy to all the way back to Bon Evil who are also gaining on this fight now only 2.3 seconds behind as um Ooh, Natty was looking for the move and uh, Tim Gren trying to go round the outside of Eiffel. It's almost three wide. Yeah, it is three, three, wide. three wide. And uh, Eiffel's going to um, have to come. As, uh, <laughs> he's going to have to concede <laughs> the position from Eiffel, who um, just uh, had the better traction through there. And the Tim Gren managing to get up into second place. Natty taking third. The Tim Gren going very wide through that corner, though. And now Natty is right up behind him. But now two Saints managing to pull a little bit of a gap while these lot are all fighting. But Natty going to have a great run going in towards the first corner. And that was a great bit of race in there between the four. Um, very, very clean and safe driving, unlike that um, F1 race we had. Uh, but now Ifin's actually looking for the move on Natty. And it's kind of reverse Uno'd itself because a Tim Graham was coming under pressure from Natty and now Natty's oh, under pressure I from Ifin and uh, yeah good move down the inside but I Natty's think, fighting it back and yeah, Natty's gone aggressive and has completely closed the door there and has kept that position it hasn't allowed Ifin to even have his nose in there just completely um shut off that gap didn't want to exceed that position at all and, um, yeah, like I said, I think Toussaint will win this race. He's like in first at the moment. He's currently yeah, in yeah, first I position, but uh, yeah, Tim Gren closing um, up to the back. I think he's on those super softs, Rick Holt. He's, um, and they are falling off quite, um, quite rapidly in this race. I think going to have to pit in the next few laps. So low on fuel, but now he's coming under pressure from Dutchie the reigning champion, Dutchy, looking for the move. Inside. Absolutely sent it on Ivan. That's another Tiger now. To look for the move on Eiffel as well. He just can't hold it around the outside on that occasion. But is is he going to maybe look to the inside? Here. And he does. does. It in the breaking zone taps um taps Dutchy ever so slightly, and just makes that position up on Eiffel for P5, I believe. Bon Evil now getting. In and this is definitely the time for Eiffel to jump into yeah, the pits. His tires yeah, are, are falling off, and he's all made a bit of contact almost with the back oh, of Tiger. Wide. Very wide. Bon Evil now is coming down his inside and I've put Bonnie up into sixth I think Ifin shouldn't be fighting this he should be pitting man yeah, and Ifin definitely going to jump into yeah. the pits yeah, yeah, he's on gone the end into of this the lap. pits good decision by Ifin there he really does. couldn't stay another lap on these tyres. And uh, just looking towards the back of the grid, we've kind of neglected them. We've got uh, Cryptek in P8 currently um, going to overtake his teammate Eiffel at the moment. He's on the medium tyres going longer in the race. We've then also got Holland Campion behind who's coming under pressure from Piero. And now is Piero going to look for the move? P8 does. Makes a very aggressive dive trying to go around the outside. I think he was looking for the inside line. Holland defends it well to the inside. Very fair racing. And now he's going to go through the center S's. Piero looking for the move, but now this is allowing Dan Schneider to get involved in this battle. Danny Dan Evil's Schneider going to be looking for the move. She's going wheel to wheel with play Dutchie here. Makes a bit of contact, and I think she just exceeds that position. Dutchie is looking for the move on Tiger now. Tiger leaves him more than enough room. Has, um, Dutchie has an inside line into this corner, cuts that curb to get a better exit, and, um, maintains p4 also i have that glitch again where i can't see holland campion so like if i'm saying like someone's in like oh and it's always too wide and it is that's holland campion going wide and piero's I gone for it now dan holland. schneider looking to the inside dan schneider looking for the move and he's going to keep his foot in and keep his car pointing in the right direction as they had a little bit of understeer going through that corner and he pushed a little bit wide by holland campion going to stick to the inside though dan schneider and he's going to make the move work i think and now he's going to be all over the back of piero going through the last sector 
Dan Schneider just on the slightly fresher tyres than Piero. Going to want to make his way through this field and get after the likes of Cryptek, who is he's starting to really pull ahead. About nine seconds now between those lot. And uh, yeah, great battling between Piero and Dan Schneider. Dan Schneider still right behind Piero. Looking for the move. Going to pull out towards the inside. Trying to take P8 from Piero. And um, does for now into turn one Dan Schneider just going to have the inside line but Piero's actually oh, had oh, Daniel Gardenzi's off yeah, Daniel Gardenzi. so massive unfortunate there for here. Daniel and he's just he's had an awful race so far here and, and now Jetsy's actually going to be closing up towards the back of him but yeah he just lost track now of the likes of Holland and Piero Dan Schneider taking PA and now I think he's going to be Nassim pulling Natty a bit of a gap. Sending it on, um, Natty sending it on play Dutchy there and Natty holding it around the outside into this corner and makes that move up into P3. Dutchy having to settle for P4 but has a Tiger all over the back of him. Oh and Natty wide! Natty oh. wide! And that's allowed Dutchy to get right onto the back of Natty, and he's had he's had a really bad corner through there. And Tiger also getting involved, and, and Natty's tires oh, are going Natty off as he runs wide, wide again. again yeah. But now, um, also um, Tiger, I think, didn't have a great corner through there, and but he's got Bon Evil all over the back of him now. I think Natty is potentially going to be coming into the pits at the end of this lap, and does. Um, as the rest of them are staying out but Natty opting for that early pit stop feels like those soft tyres can't go any further in the race had a fair bit more fuel but um, maybe thinking the undercut is the right way to go in this race uh, against those front three that he's fighting at the moment currently a Tim Gren has dropped back from two saying about 1.8 seconds now uh, but the oh, I thought they were on a different strategy but a Tim Gren's actually on more worn um, mediums than two saints so uh, two saints in a very strong position at the moment uh, to be winning this race but um, he's still got to think about Tim Grant and Dutchy who are, are fighting back here but now Tiger is looking for the move on Dutchy and this could be playing into Natty's hands as these lot fight he's going to be on those fresh compound of tyres putting in some great laps it's really annoying me I can't see Holland Campion on the um on the on the uh, leaderboard, which means that um, all the positions are really like messed up. So like right now, like Dan Schneider's in seventh, but he may be like eighth. Oh no, no, screen. it's seventh. Yeah, Dan Schneider's in seventh. Where's Holland, Holland Campion? In eighth, Holland Campion. I uh, see. It says Piero is in eighth. Does that mean he's ninth? Piero is in ninth. Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, it's so annoying how I can't see Holland Campion again for some reason. You're gonna have to um cover his racing because I, I, I can't see him yeah, that's fine uh, we've got a uh, bon evil now looking for the move potentially on tiger tiger's dropped a little bit further back from dutchy and that's going to really put him under pressure from bon evil she's going to have the slipstream going into the first corner she's on the medium tires as well so both on the the same tire and bon evil going to look for the move down the she's inside she's desperate to get past tiger isn't she she's all over the back of him Maybe getting frustrated. Look at her looking for this tight align as well. Look, she's uh, she's really focusing on that exit out of that corner, all over the back of Tiger and that slipstream. Now, is probably going to be looking for the move into this braking zone. Tiger having a bad line through there. Now, about a second off that, she really didn't have a great line through there, and that's compromised his exit onto this straight. Uh, Bonnie will just going to have to stay behind yeah, for now. Didn't really quite have the overspeed, but now she's going to have a great line off there. Tries to get the traction down earlier, and now she's all over the back of um, Tiger she's not really been this close so far so she's, she's keeping close at the moment gonna maybe look for the move into the second sector now going through here she's gonna look for the move thinks better of it for now she's staying right behind and um, she's probably losing time here I think looks like she yeah, probably has the yeah, pace to get through quite a lot of time. Um, and Dutchy just managing to start pulling a little bit of a gap these are two saints now stretched his advantage out at the front to almost four seconds a very strong pace that he's got in this part of the race um a tim gren's tires going off quite a lot and a tim gren running quite wide there actually through the last corner so maybe he's going to want to be bonnie the nearly losing the car there i think she just the car was really um 
Nearly lost yeah. it on the car. Right, she had a weird line through there. She yeah, yeah, the yeah. Track a different really compromised way. line through that corner. Really needs to focus on that corner as well because it's so crucial. You get a really good exit out of there for um, better straight line speed. I only got Ifin with the fastest lap of the race, and he's currently um, on the super soft tire. So he he had dropped back a lot because he'd come into the pits quite early. Um, he's going to be going for that alternate strategy. Going to be interesting Gachi when everyone else starts coming really into the pits. really wide all over the place at the moment. He's, he's swerving. swerving the track, yeah. Maybe an issue with his tyres. Maybe not up to um, optimum temperature or something. Like that. I can't maybe, tell. Maybe, but Dan Schneider also running wide. Problem. Piero on the grass a little bit. Put his left tyre on it. Ifen all over the back of Jetsy. It looks like there might be a battle brewing between Dan Schneider and Holland Campion, and I think Holland Campion closing up towards the back of Dan Schneider. And this is going to be interesting as Holland Campion needs those extra points in the championship. Going to want to be getting past Dan Schneider as quickly as possible. Dan Schneider having a bit of a better race at the moment. Not scored too many points this season so far in that Lexus. Uh, but doing okay at the moment in P7. Currently on the medium tyres. He's only coming for one pit stop. I think so is Holland Campion though. I think they're both... Uh, made one pit stop so far in this race, uh, as has Piero on the medium tyres. We've also got Ifin, who's made two stops, but he's on the super soft tyre. So he's not going to be able to go as long on those tyres. We've got a battle between Dutchie and a Timgren here, though. A Timgren's actually picked up a, a half a Ooh, second this is penalty. Dutchie looking for the move on a Timgren now. Dutchie can cut back properly. He can probably make up this move, and that's a Tim Graham running on the grass. He doesn't want to be doing that at all. And what an easy move for play Dutchy there. Didn't even need Tim to Graham. fight that really. And Tim Graham just letting him buy and knew With that, that penalty on line out of that corner as well. just wasn't good enough. And uh, Tim Graham definitely going to want to be coming into the pit soon. His tyres, his mediums are really not uh, as good as Dutchy's at the moment. They're both going to have to pit again. But uh, potentially Dutchy's going to have the, the fresher tyres. Uh, yeah, Daniel Gardenzi at the back of the grid pits. So, for what tyres? Natty currently out in P12 has has pitted twice and is uh, currently doing some decent pace, but no fastest lap so far. Would have probably been hoping to be to be further up there. As we've got uh, Joe XX in the chat saying uh, go Holland. Yeah, Holland having having another decent race here. He's he's it's trying so to close up towards the him, back man. of of Dan Schneider. Had a good race, Joe, yesterday in the Super League, though. Very oh, interesting. Yeah, Joe, or was Joe's it in? Fast, or was it in the Premier? Is he in the Premier with us, or was yeah, he yeah, in yeah, the he's in Ollie. Super? Uh, oh, he's in Ollie. He had a great race though. As uh, yeah, Dutchie really comes into the pits, as well as Bon Evil Tiger Bonneville, and the Tim Grant, yeah. all coming into the pits at the same time. So interesting that Dutchie actually had better tire wear than the Tim Grant. That they both come in at the same time. Uh, the and it's I don't, I'm not sure what tyres they're going to be going on probably the softs till the end now with only 14 minutes to go it'll be interesting to see what they go on I assume it will be the softs Piero also come into the pits Dan Schneider Jetsy into the pits as well and yeah Jetsy as well Ifin going past the majority of them as Two saying must need to pit soon earlier. as well right? yeah Two Saint on the medium tyre definitely going to need to pit Again, Ifen has made his way back up into P3. There. Yeah, he's he's in Joe's in the Premier. There's a very solid race that he had uh, in that Zandvoort yeah, yeah. race. There's a challenging race there. That was yeah, uh, Joe is really quick. Really uh, it's so annoying that uh, I haven't um, figured out my assist just yet, so I can't be fighting for the positions I want to at the moment. But when I um when I properly figure out my assist, I reckon I'll uh, pick up the pace quite a lot. Just that traction control. Ben can tell you how many times I spin it when we're just doing normal race. Oh god, it's uh, pretty much every lap, isn't it? <laughs> but Holland, Holland Campion uh, as a nine tenth penalty, currently about eleven seconds behind Cryptek, who is yet to pit. 
on the medium Two toes. Tucson into the pits now. We now promote Cryptek up into first, and okay. Ifin. Cryptek into probably going to be coming into the pits as well, though. He's not got very oh, much fuel, very worn tyres. Uh, Cryptek only made one stop so far. This would be the time to probably be coming into the pits. Is he going to dive it in? No, he's probably going to wait one more lap. Oh, no, he is. Makes a late call into the pit lane. That was very late through there. Uh, and that's probably going to allow Holland Campion to take the lead if he doesn't come into the pits as well. But he does. Comes into the pits. Oh, and we have a Tim Grenning all over the back of Bonnie Evil here. Tim Grenning looking for this move, but it's just... Right in a slipstream, can't quite right see on the back move. of our gearbox. No, I can, yeah, and Tim Grant going to be looking for the move. Uh, he just doesn't have the, just doesn't have the speed to be able to pull out. Actually, he does. He pulls out to the right hand side. Can try to run the outside. Make a bit of contact. Bonnie Evil's forced him onto the grass, and the Tim Grant's lost. Oh, and the he's car off because of it. Yeah. Oh, and that's Bonnie so Evil unfortunate for Tim, Tim Grant onto the grass. And I'm sorry to say, I think that was Bonnie Evil's error there, just not leaving him enough room. Just completely bend his car. So unfortunate I'm not for sure a Tim with a chance of winning the race. Yeah, that just really compromised the Tim Grenz race, that contact with Bonnie Evil there. It's really unfortunate. And now I somehow don't think Bonnie Dutchie, did that purposely though. Dutchy, the reigning champion and three time race winner, is now all over the back of Toussaint. He's now only one second behind what was the effective race leader. There was about a six second gap. Somehow, Dutchy has just made the undercut work. Oh, it, it, he made the undercut on the, the fresher tyres, but um, Natty is currently in the provisional oh, wait, race wait, lead. Wait, wait, I think Ifen's tyres are falling off again, man. Look, he's Natty's gonna all over the back pit. of him. He's going to have yeah, to yeah. pit. Ifin's strategy, which usually works wonders for him, the low fuel and the soft compound, is just going to uh, going to crap in this race. Like it, it just isn't working. Like he's just losing so much time to all these cars behind, and yeah, he dives into the pit, but more fuel and uh, I'm presuming another set of the super soft tires to take him the last ten minutes of this race. But he has done quite well uh, to be fair to him to um, to manage. Um, the strategy which he uh, really likes and we have a tiger and a Tim Gren wheel to wheel where Tim Gren is just oh they made a bit of contact but uh, Tim Gren has just made that position up into the center S before the straight and um, tiger left him more than enough room fair driving by both of them to be honest yeah that was a that was a decent move yeah and it's, it's gonna be pleasant. interesting to see at the, at the front so we've got now two saying who's catching up to the back of Natty now, Natty has much more worn tyres on, but Natty is just holding up Toussaint just enough that Play Dutchy is managing to close up, but now Toussaint is going to look for the move down the inside of Natty and makes that move up, and that is unfortunate for Dutchy, because now Dutchy is going to have to get past Natty before he can hunt down Toussaint. And uh, Toussaint making the move very early there on, on Natty and not wasting any time. And Dutchy's going to have to try and do the same if he wants to try and win this race. He doesn't want to let Toussaint run away with it because then he's going to lose the slipstream. But now um, Tiger getting right up back behind Tim Yeah, he um, was looking for the move uh, on a Tim Gren into that um, breaking zone where Hamilton uh, dived on Albon. Um, but just fought better with oh, it. Tim Gren he, going slightly he wide in contact there. Yeah, and that's what compromised his line. Tiger's all over the back of him just... Just uh, enjoying that slipstream. Oh, but Dutchy looking for the move now on oh, Natty, and this is so crucial. Yeah. So crucial for the race, and now Super Dutchy going to try to go around the outside. Natty getting the elbows out, but I think Dutchy just makes that position up. He does, Natty but Natty's going to really stay close to into there, yeah. the next corner. I think Dutchy's going to have oh, the move have, ahead. Um, Natty Dan knows his race is with him. Move on Cryptek, I think, on worn tyres, but it's made a really, really late braking manoeuvre into the centre S, into turn one, and I think has kept that position from Dan Schneider. Dan Schneider thinking he had that move done. Cryptek saying no, however, and keeping uh, P7, if uh, I'm not mistaken. Is it P7, right? Or is Holland Campion there? Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. We've got uh, Tim Grant diving it. 
I'm Bonnie, evil Bonnie would run onto the grass and oh, the Tim Grant give him Bonnie a taste of her own medicine after Bonnie forced the Tim Grant onto the grass. That's allowed Tiger through as well. Through, yeah. Fair now play Tiger's going to gonna be all over there, the though. back of a Tim Grant. So uh, return in the favour, a Tim Grant running <laughs> Bonnie Desperate evil a little bit wet. Yeah, but no, there's nothing. You can't fault a Tim Graham there because Bonnie just did him so dirty, putting him on the grass, and he lost the whole car. He's done an amazing recovery to get back up into fourth and to make that move back on Bonnie. But I think we'll see some people pit here, right? We should be. We'll see the likes of um, actually. Oh, we've not. We've not got many other people to be coming into the pits with uh, about seven minutes remaining. The oh, only right. person Natty I can is, see Natty. Natty yeah, the the yeah. only person I can think of would be Natty. But he's going for the extra pit stop. I'm not sure that this strategy's worked out particularly well for him because he's going to lose a load of positions now to these guys. And he was up fighting with the the kind of front five really here. Uh, and now lost a lot of time and now uh, a Tim Grant coming under pressure from Tiger. Tiger trying to take a tighter line through the centre S's and now um, going to look for the move on a Tim Grant. Dutchie is right on the gearbox of Toussaint. Dutchie wants this win. Oh and Tiger going to make a late move maybe down the inside oh, and is. Oh late move that was almost contact and he nearly lost the car if they made contact there. Yeah but Tiger going to keep it. it down the inside yeah, yeah, and he's made the wow. move yeah, work squeeze him out it was a good move by tiger puts him up into p3 as a tim Grant all over the back of him and bonnie's just capitalizing on this i think she's thinking about sending it on a tim Grant and just doesn't nearly did we have um dan schneider making a move back on cryptech it's only matter of still time before that going wheel to wheel i think cryptech with on the penalty. back of piero here i think and Piero will to will into this uh, sweeping right hander, and Eifin just makes that position up. That was a good move, that. And Eifin on those much fresher, super soft tyres. Five minutes to go. Give me interest and see if he can catch the likes of Holland Campion about four seconds ahead. And they're Holland Campion on slightly more worn tyres. And we'll see Eifin's progress in the next few laps. Ooh, a Tim also Grimm's got a Tim Gren, yeah, yeah looking. He's going to look for the move down the inside of Tim Grant. These two fighting is going to hurt them the in this in. race, though, really. They don't want to be fighting too much here. It's Dutchie now looking for the move on Toussaint. And he's closed right up behind him. And this is for the race lead here. As Dutchie looks for the move down the inside, they almost make a little bit of contact so close Ooh, is into the first him. sector. And Dutchie's just going to look down the inside. They make a little Ooh. bit of contact side pod to side pod. But Dutchie going to squeeze him out and make the move down the inside. But Toussaint still there still looking for the move but Dutchie's made it work for now and uh, here comes Toussaint looking back for the move tries down the inside he makes a little bit of contact with the rear of his car there and almost spins out Dutchie that was almost a horrible ending there but now Toussaint looking for the move back down the inside and does makes the move back down the inside and a great move by him now he's going to look to try and keep but it Dutchie round the outside Send Dutch it down the inside, but it's gonna wheel to wheel into this corner. See what happens. I think Toussaint is gonna come out on top. Great defending by Toussaint, and we have a massive battle going on from P3 down to P5. That's a Tim Gren Tiger. And, uh, and yeah, now, and now a, a Tiger's looking for the move on the Tim Gren, and the Tim Gren's got a penalty. So is Tiger. Well, Piero's going slowly. Piero's going slowly. He's got overtaken by um, Natty and Cryptek. Yeah, Piero um, must have had a moment there, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Losing Cryptic the car. Looking for the cut back on Dan Schneider. Will he get it? Oh, just not enough momentum through that corner on this occasion. And now it is going oh, oh, three yeah, wide almost a between Gren and Tim Grant and yeah, Tiger. And um, here comes a Tim Grant, I think, going to look for the move on Tiger gonna try and go but now Bon Evil gonna look for the move on both of them and is she gonna get the double overtake done looks towards the inside Ooh, and it's gonna switch back. back and looks for the no, move on the Tim Gren does outside, get the move switches uh, into the slipstream looking for the move on the inside into this next corner I presume I somehow a Tim Gren kept it in the there move on Tiger. Oh, but Tiger no, Bonnie was going to look for the move down, now, maybe. and she's going to go for it on a Tim Grant. They almost make contact. Ooh, but now so Bonnie is going to keep that inside line, but just backs off a little bit again on the exit, not being able to keep her foot in. 
And uh, yeah, very close battling, but now Toussaint is Ooh, right on the back of Dutchie again. Dutchie, they make a bit of contact. Looking Around the outside, going to switch, switch yeah, here. switch it back. But he's going to have gonna better traction. In, uh, this Hamilton did, nah, Dutchie well, we was smart about that and completely covered that off. He saw that move coming a mile away. And Toussaint just needs to... Too safe, strategically here. Too safe breaking earlier, down. getting like getting the uh, the earlier cut in on that corner gave him the better exit, and now he's all over the back of Dutchy for the race lead here. Gonna go Ooh, in Natty towards turn one. Down the, down the inside of uh, Eifen there. And it's quite an easy move for him. Good move, but um. And yeah, uh, these guys are closing up to Holland Campion with only two minutes remaining. Holland Campion currently in P8. Good race for him there. He's managed to uh, finish ahead of Eiffel. Dutchie again, and Dutchie's running wide. Oh, but they made contact, and Dutchie's off. There was no contact. There was no contact. Oh, there was no contact. Dutchie's off. Dutchie just dropped the car. He just dropped the car. He, he's no managed contact. to keep it going, but he, he's oh, and Tiger's, he, um, Tiger's off. Oh, and this oh is all God. going wrong at the end of yeah, the race for these guys, and now we're now Crypto. Oh no, I thought Cryptet was going to be able to close the gap, but yeah, Tiger going off there at turn one. So unfortunate for him. He's now lost that time to a Tim Gren, and it's all going off at the end of this race now. Two Saints pulled a massive gap to Dutchy now, and that just doesn't look like Dutchy's going to be able to close that back with only one minute 30 remaining. And uh, now the, the real battle looks for P3, the last spot on the podium. A Tim Gren's got a three tenth penalty, but he's staying right behind Bon Evil. Is he going to be able to make the move in the last minute of this race? Uh, he's going to try and serve that penalty as he's going around. Otherwise, it's going to be added to his race time. Tiger also has a six tenth penalty. Unfortunately for him, I think P5 is the most he's going to be able to do now. But um, yeah, very unfortunate for Dutch. He's going to be the first time, unless um, Toussaint can make a mistake here in the last lap or so. Um, it looks like it's going to be the first non-Dutchy win or non first non-Dutch driver to win um, a race here. It's going to be the first time we've got a fellow Brit on the podium. Um, we have, well, um, not on the podium for winning if, if he can win. Yeah, we have Bonnie coming on leaps and bounds from P9 on the grid to P3, bro. Yeah, what what comeback Massive from Bonnie? Will de just definitely, um, all this battling. Definitely but, my uh, driver just to of the confirm, day. Just to confirm, there was no contact between Tiger and uh, not Tiger, sorry, between Tusain and was it a Tim Grown? It was. Thanks for clearing yeah, that yeah, up, that was, Isaac. There was no, there was no contact at all. Just, just thanks uh, for clearing that up. Just, nah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, Any time, you count on me to clear any. <laughs> Any, uh, yeah, no, we, we didn't quite see that from my point of view, to be fair. So, yeah, they were just clearing that out. I didn't, didn't quite see it, but yeah. Uh, going to be Toussaint coming across. He's had a great, great race here. He's really made his strategy work. He's made the most out of his tires. He's, he, I think it would have been close if, if um, I mean, a Tim Grant's had a great yeah, race yeah, considering... Considering he um, had no practice coming into this race, and to be honest, he could do a, um, a Zanvort like me and, and cross the line ahead of Bon Evil, but now he's dropped back to about a second behind. But with that penalty, I'm just not sure that he's going to be able to, to get past Bon Evil on this last lap. Uh, but yeah, great, great race from Toussaint. Very consistent race very um very clean race and uh yeah really not put a foot wrong he's made some great overtakes some great race in here and it's going to be a, oh, a big haul of points for the bcmr team extending their yeah, lead really, really in the championship unfortunately his really teammate tiger there. going dropping down into p5 could have been a podium really for for tiger here again but uh he has he comes through the final part of the track it's going to be two same takes Absolute the win today. Dutchy taking P2 and extending his championship lead it's not the win for him today but it's the next best thing and Bod Evil takes P3 a Tim Gren crosses the line in P4 good um, recovery from him after uh, installing his update about five minutes before the race started Kryptek going to come through for P6 big points for him first time he's finished ahead of his teammate Eifin Dan Schneider taking P7 in the Lexus Natty unfortunately in P8 dropped quite quite far back there, managed to overtake Holland Campion at the end of the race. We were just so uh, engrossed in the battle for the lead of the race that we didn't even see um, that, that battle between um, Natty and um, who else was it? Uh, 
Holland Campion there. But yeah, Toussaint takes the win from third on the grid there. Um, and it's the first time that the Pulsar hasn't won the race. Uh, really good race there. But who else was it? Um, if we just see the race results. That was, so um... we got down to... I Sorry, that was probably one of the best like races I think I've ever seen. That was a really, really that good was race. So I was like, on the edge of my seat that whole time. Like, anyway, congratulations great, great race. to Toussaint for that um, race win. I knew he was going to come through and clutch that. A really great race for him. Really unlucky for Tiger as well, though. Like you said, it could have been a podium. It just got taken away from him a couple minutes before the end of the race. Really unfortunate, but either way, they need to be happy that the BCMR team uh, won the race. So brilliant uh brilliant drive from all drivers today actually really yeah, definitely and um so w the rest of the grid was holland campion was in p9 uh ifin finished in p10 disappointing race for him there uh piero in p11 uh who would have been tobster um had we had the full driver grid for today jetsy in p12 and daniel gardenzi in p13 uh so this has been the last group four race here actually next week yeah, we go you, to uh, lago maggior next week we go to lago maggior where we actually change to the group three cars for this league uh, and yeah it's been another great race here for um the um the BCMR group a buddy. Group A in the GT Sport Championship and Holland, uh, it was Eiffin saying, finally, it's over. These guys don't want to be in the Group 4 cars anymore. Cryptek saying, no more Group 4. Um, so these guys happy to be out of these cars. But yeah, we're going to move to the Group 3 for next week. Going to be a great race. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys then. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.